Here is another one of those problems that you might run into when building a house that might be a little wider than a building like this where you can run the ceiling joist all the way across to the other side in a straight line to create a rafter tie and of course install your collar ties also. So let's just kind of go around here to give you a better idea what I'm talking about and take a look at a standard layout. A standard layout would be where you lay something out from one point and continue keeping the layout marks on this side the same as you would on the other side to where the rafters and the ceiling joists, ceiling joist or your rafter ties are going to be in a straight line and connect to the roof rafters to create a connection to where the walls won't spread apart. And to make sure you don't make any mistakes when installing the roof rafters and the ceiling joists, you can always lay your marks out and then put a J on one side, an R on the other side to represent the roof rafters. Or you can put double X's to represent the ceiling joists and a single X to represent the roof rafter. So again, in a situation like this where the ceiling joists are going to go all the way through, we shouldn't have a problem attaching the ceiling joist or the rafters ties to the roof rafters along with our collar ties. However, that might not be the case if we have a wall located somewhere in between these two walls and using the wall somehow to connect the joists together. And you can see here where we have a problem. If we put the ceiling joists on the same side, we won't be able to lap them in the center. And if we have one joist attaching to one side of the roof rafter, and another joist attaching to the other side of the roof rafter, then we're going to have a space in between here. Or we're going to need to install the joist to where they won't be parallel to the interior walls. They'll be off a little bit. You can actually pull these together and have them off a little bit. I've seen that before, even though I don't recommend it, because you're going to have a problem installing the drywall. Now, a long time ago when we had lath and plaster, this wasn't a big deal. And this is a common method here of laying out the ceiling joist. And all we need to do to fix this is install a block in between the ceiling joist and then nail the ceiling joist to the framing plates along with attaching the ceiling joist to the block. You're going to use 16 D nails to attach these three components together. You'll basically do the same on both sides. Toenail into the top of the wall framing plate and then nail each side of the ceiling joist to the block. So here we have a nice connection going across here. Or we can line the joist back up like we did in our first example and break the joist half over the wall and then use a strap to connect the two joists together to create our rafter tie. And you're simply going to toenail one side of the joist into the top of the framing plate along with the other side and then do the same on the other side of the joist. Now keep in mind that this only needs to happen every four feet. You don't need to do this on every ceiling joist unless the structural engineer is requesting it. So we can put a strap on the top or we can put one on the side. And you could also install some blocking if you want to. And sometimes the engineer is going to call out for this to be blocked. And you could also toenail the block into the top of the framing plate. And this is another method that I've seen used by engineers. And in our last example, we're going to go ahead and lay out the rafters and the ceiling joist to where they stagger. And this method here will allow us to lap the ceiling joist. However, we're going to need to do something different with the collar ties. So again, all we're going to do is move this joist and this rafter over a little bit. However, we could always put the joist on this side of the ceiling joist or the left side and then move this one over a little bit more if that will work better for your project. So again, we're going to move the rafters over a little bit so that we can lap the ceiling joist. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our collar ties. Now if you're using 1x6, something like this might be a little more workable because you can see here where a 2 by something that's an inch and a half thick, isn't going to bend as easy to attach to the roof rafter. Or we can add a block. 
Here we have our collar tie attaching to the rafter here, and then we're going to put a block on the other side to keep everything parallel and straight. And the last thing I want to mention will be to add some type of a nailer to one side of the roof rafter so that you can connect these two rafters together with a strap over the roof sheathing. Another common method you can use to create a nice collar tie connection. So hopefully this helps. If it does, let us know in the comment area or by hitting the thumbs up button. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.